It was recently suggested to me to try out a different kind of resolution setting of my JVC NX7 projector in my home theater. And I wanted to talk about that, kind of what it does and the effect it has on your picture. So when we talk about 4K content and movies and what and whatnot, we're usually talking about a resolution of 3840 by 2160 in terms of the pixel width versus the pixel height. But the reality is that true 4K and a lot of native panels, particularly in projection, are 4096 by 2160. I've always ever used my projector in my theater setup not taking advantage of that extra width and instead just using native resolution, native resolution aspect ratio, the 3840 by 2160. But it was suggested to me that, hey, maybe you want to try using the extra width, particularly when you have a scope screen. So I've been experimenting with that. I've actually had it set up to, to use the extra pixel width for a little while now. And I actually kind of like it and I'm feeling like there's really no reason maybe not to do so. So I wanted to just demonstrate that and talk about it. Um, and, and how it works. So I've got the JVC NX7 here. If I go into the lens control, you can kind of see how there's two bars on the far right and the far left of the image here. And so the interior bars make up the regular 3840 pixel width. The extra bar, the outside bar, goes all the way to the 4096. And so it makes a difference of just not quite or just under 7%, 7% more picture width you have taking advantage of the entire array versus not. So if I were to do this in the installation mode settings of the projector, I come here, down here to aspect and I change auto to zoom. And you can kind of see what happens here on the Kaleidoscape screen. Things got a little wider. They also kind of actually moved up and down a little bit versus just stretching to the side very, very much um, a, a zooming right, a zooming up of the image to fill. And that's why you're getting cut kind of on the top and bottom. So I don't think I'm necessarily, I'm necessarily a fan of using this for 16.9 stuff. However, for watching movies in scope, it's kind of a different story. So here's Empire Strikes Back playing on the Kaleidoscape. Of course, it's an ultra wide movie, 240 to one aspect ratio. I've got it paused here early in the, the scenes on Hoth. And my projector's already done the installation mode changes from my normal, my 169 installation mode to the ultra widescreen where I kind of shift and zoom and try to fill up as much of my scope screen here as I possibly can. I've got a couple other videos out on the channel about that. Here's what we're looking at using kind of the normal aspect ratio. We can see the whole, all of the picture information is there from the top bar down to the bottom of his flight suit and his buckle in the middle there. But if I go into this setting and I opt to zoom instead of auto, wow, my picture just really expanded. Now I'm filling out the remainder or those available pixels left and right. And because I already had black space kind of above and below the image itself, it's filling all of that. So the net effect is I get a bigger picture. I fill more of my screen. It's kind of extra, extra wide. and, and like this is just a really great setting to use. Why not take advantage of those extra pixels, you know, have them projecting light and, and, and all of that. So again, I don't know that I would necessarily use this for non wider than widescreen content, but for anything, you know, wider than 169, wider than 4.3, you have the resolution, you have the pixels in the projector, you know, why not, why not go ahead and use them? Sound off in the comments. Do you use this kind of mode in your home theater setup? Is there any uh, cons uh, to doing this that maybe um, I'm overlooking in terms of the value or the benefit of it? But pretty sweet and a really, really nice tip that I was glad to get for um, using the JVC projector in the theater here. So sound off in the comments. Let me know. Please do all the regular YouTube stuff like subscribe and check out the other videos about installation modes and how I've automated this stuff using the lens memories and all of that of the JVC projector. Thanks so much for watching.